What's up, folks? I'm out here on Stubblefield off of Lake Conroe. Came out here to meet the homie, Torek. And we, uh, we're gonna get on these crappie, folks. So far, I already got one slab in the boat and one just, just a good size keeper. Nothing, nothing crazy, but definitely got one slab and I'm about to try to catch a few more of those. That's the plan today, to hunt down all the slabs that I can and leave those average size fish to everybody else. So let's see what we can do, folks. Another hog, y'all, look at this. Big old black crappie. Taking some work, but we getting them. Go ahead and get this ham rolling. All right, we rolling, folks. We recording live from the lake, or from the creek, should I say. Let's see if we can get up here and get us one or two. Now y'all see this little group down here. Right. I mean, these are some good fish right here under this structure. Fish just aren't super aggressive this morning, y'all. Did have a full moon last night. And uh, what I always say is after a full moon, fish ain't gonna be super crazy active in the morning. We'll get some, in the, get some good action in the afternoon, but usually not in the mornings. Just another small one though. Guys, right now I'm just using a regular size magic bait. Regular size is at 1.75 inch stinger tail. I'm running real low on the on the tad fries. Definitely need more of those. Got the tension of some right here. Look like some good ones. Oh, they look like they wanted to give a little chase and then they turned away. You know, there's, uh, I will say the spot lock in these creeks don't work as well as it does out in open lakes. And that could probably be because of all the trees blocking the GPS signal. But man, I'll tell you what, I wish it was working as intended right now. Here we go. Here's some good ones. And I mean really good ones. If I can drop down here and get his attention. Oh, I did. Oh, he looked at it and turned away. Is he gonna come back? Ah, oh, he turned away, y'all. Good fish, too. That could be a white bass. White bass do tend to get mixed in with these crappie and do hold by structure real tight like this sometimes, too, so. It really could be either or. And sometimes you just don't know until you get a hook in one. That's definitely the goal. Here comes one. He's checking it out. Got him. Oh, and it's a property. It's a good one too. Put them on in the boat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just slab crappie down there. That's what they are. Big old slab crappie. Y'all check that out. Just a thick black crappie that's probably about a 13 inch fish folks i mean healthy fish too going in the box very nice i will take it folks that's what we after right there that's what we after 
see if we can get us a few more off the spot and then we'll move around because the way it's been this morning is you, you can snatch one or two off a spot and after you do that, the other ones just become a little disinterested because these crappie are a little smarter than we give them credit for sometimes. Tons of fish in here right now too, y'all. Tons of fish. Good black nose crappie right there, y'all. Real good black nose, folks. See that black stripe going down that nose right there? Beautiful fish, probably about 11 and a half, almost 12. Off to a great start, folks. I mean, a great start. Haven't really gone too far from where I launched that and been really catching nice fish. Several nice fish in the box, y'all. I mean, this is the day of reckoning for slabs. Day of reckoning for slabs, y'all. And I mean, they out here too. There's just so many fish everywhere and structure. Outside of structure, I mean everywhere, folks. Let's see if we can get one of these big ones down in here. Come on. Oh, he saw it. Here he comes. Come on up out of there. Come on, buddy. Come on and get it. Oh, he stopped right at that branch. He had a threshold. He stopped right at it. Let me get back down there. Get the attention of one of these other ones. Yep, here he comes. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Bro. I mean, it's just so many slabs out here. Care. Yeah, you know I don't care. You you know I don't care. I be scoping. Yeah, I'm gonna find them. Right there. Right here or that one? That tree that came out. Ooh, that might. Is that a white bass? Crappie. That's a good one. That's. I'm out here, bro. Out here. I'm out here. <laughs> <laughs> out here. Know what I'm gonna do to him? Yes, ma'am. Oh, Will is waxing ass. <laughs> on keepers. I'm, I was waxing ass on throwback. I got two in the pool. Two keepers. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> this just don't get old. Oh man. I'll take it. Yeah, it's one of them days where I might only want to go home with twelves. Size, size shaking out. That's really how it's shaking out. Look at this giant fish right here at the top. Please be a big, big crappie. Be a big crappie, bro. Ooh, I told you. I told you. I want to flip him, but I ain't crazy. I'm going to flip him. You, you know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am crazy. What you say? Shoot, I'm a miss. I'm trying to grab my net. I'm going to flip him. Yeah, let me flip him. I saw that hook was in there. Oh, yeah. I knew he was a good one. Look, it's another good one down in there, too. was going to come out. Bro, I'm a fisherman, bro. I do this, yeah. man. I do this. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I do this. Ooh. I ain't new to this. I'm true to this, baby. Mm. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I told SK, I was like, man, when I went, when me and my wife went over. Yeah. I told him, I was like, man, Will. Hey, I've been watching Will from, from, for a minute. Yeah. I was like, that's somebody that is literally. Improved. Came a long way, bro. Bro, you was killing them before you even got live. Song. Before I got live scope, the Lawrence, my first limp, hey. yeah, the, the Lawrence. You know, bro. That's how I know you. Day, day one, right there, bro. 
Day one. That's what I had. I had the low ranch. Low range. Bro, I was killing them with it. <laughs> killing them with it. It didn't even matter. Mm. Brush pile fishing. Let me, uh, I know you're not soliciting anything, but I'm going to just tell you what, what I used to do a lot of prior to getting live scope and, and caught a bunch of fish. And I think I see you doing it right now. So usually what I do is if I can find a brush pile and if you can put even the cheapest little fish finder on here, 2D that can identify mm -hmm. structure or you, you want to know. know some crazy? I got a striker five at the house. Oh, that's perfect. The that's perfect diamond. for that. Yeah. A little striker five. Yeah, that's perfect for that. Does it have side imaging? Uh, I don't want to watch. I don't. I don't. I think I really they didn't use it much. The so they sell strikers that. Uh oh. Come on. Oh, you little. Yeah, they got strikers that have the side imaging and down imaging. <clears throat> And uh, honestly, that's really all you need. That's really all you need. And then once you find that, use the buoy markers, right? Drop the buoy markers and then fish that structure. And then the way that I usually like to fish it, obviously I'm looking to see what my depth is, but uh, the main thing that I'm focused on is like my, my jig in action <clears throat> when I get down there and when I feel like I'm in the structure. There you go. That's a good one, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. My boy. There it is. He put me on the spot. Um, yeah, but I think I just saw you doing it though. What I do is I, I get down in there, I do my jigging, and then I pull up, I lift up okay. and jig, and then just kind of go up and down with it sometimes. Here come one. You gonna eat it though? Oh, he ate it, little dude. Oh yeah, you doing it? I don't, <clears throat> I don't think you need any <laughs> any advice. You know what you're doing out here. Oh, I'll take advice. I ain't too good for advice, especially when it comes to this kind of fishing. Nah, you yeah. doing it? You doing it? You drop down into the pile, do your little jig in action, change levels. Mm -hmm. That's what I do a lot of whenever prior to having live scope. I'm always level changing. Like I'm a jig in a certain level for a minute or two, and then I'm gonna change levels. I'm gonna reel up a little bit, and then that, that up and down movement, man, that's like that's when a fish will come chase your bait because you don't know that he's down there looking at it like that. But as soon as you kind of like pull up like this a little bit, and then jig, and then drop back down, and pull up a little bit more, and then one will come and get it usually. Ooh, did he see it? He saw it. Got him. Another good one. Swinging them in the boat. Swinging them. You ain't gonna lie, I miss some SKO videos. I know, I Before do too, man. Before he had them. That slow, that slow mode, the, the tip thump, boop, the, boop. Th the tip thump, yeah, man. Yeah, the tip thump, man. I missed the little tip thump, SK. Oh, I'm gonna probably no, nah, I don't want that many. I'm gonna probably <laughs> eat them. I'm gonna probably eat them today, honestly. I'm gonna probably eat I said I'm gonna probably eat them too today. Lay on. Ooh. That's a crappie slab. Get in the boat, baby. Ooh hoo hoo. Wee. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Just a slab, daddy. <laughs> it's a slab. I saw him just. That was a big one. Tiny, little tiny piece of structure too. He just down there by himself. Uh, I think that's a fish. It definitely look like one. Oh, there goes some. Nice little pop. That's a crappie right there. That's a good one too. Big black nose. 
Big old black nose. Ooh, is that the hook that scratched me or your teeth? All right, 14 feet. Hey, right in front of you, there's a little little pile that's fish right at the top. Hey, send me a picture of my fishing license. Okay. All right. Is that the game warden? Mm -hmm. Send it to me. All right, um, so about right here where my rod tip is. Can you drop down right here? I'm not, I don't want to go all the way down because the fish is sitting right there. Oh my God, come on fish finder. I mean motor, trolling motor. got them yes sir it should be a good one too it is i knew it bro i knew it putting my boy on the fish get him in the boat get him in the boat yes sir yes sir i saw him i saw him <laughs> maybe i should be a guide yeah i think i, I might i don't know man I mean, the amount of excitement I get from helping people catch fish is incredible, that too. That was all right there. But, uh-oh. I saw him come up from the bottom and grab it. Another yellow bass, man. These things are plentiful, and they're good size, too. I don't want them, though. I got three. Get on out of here, boy. Get it on out. How you doing? Pretty good. How about yourself? Doing all right. Stay here in order. Do a quick uh, license check and check your fish and all that stuff. All right. Y'all have any luck this morning? Yes, sir. That's good. How'd you catch it so far? Oh, it's going great. Doing all right? Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'll check your license. Oh, you got any fish on there? Oh, yeah. I got fish in there. In the cooler? Mm-hmm. I'll check my license first. No, I'll check my fish first. Check the fish. <laughs> and the reason why we take the fish first? Yeah. What's the reason? Because the slab's in there, man. I'm going to let you. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll oh, put yeah, that right there. That. Oh, you can just take the lid all the way off. That's fine. Just pull it, pull it straight up. Man, you can have a slab. Yeah, and two bags of ice in there. That's why it looked like a lot. But I only got 14. 14? Yes, sir. And then some uh, yellow bass, but them yellow bass. You want to take it out or something? Well, I just, there's a lot to go through here. I'll take a picture. There you go. Thanks. You can use this net if you want to pull them out or something. Just drop them in there. I usually don't get fish under 10. Uh, oh, under 10. Under 11. Be mad at me if I saw the big one back here. Yeah, I'll be all right. <laughs> good? Yeah, that's good, man. Okay. Yeah, I'll look good right there. All right. That's first time I had someone say, check my fish first. You know, y'all the first game wardens that actually ever checked my fish. Really? Yeah. I've already written them in fish tickets this morning. Really? Yeah, that's why I don't keep them under 11. You do a lot of crappie fishing too? Okay. I Man, I'm trying to want, I'm wondering if you're the one that pulled up on me over at Kegel when I was bluegill fishing a while back this summer. Because I, I had, we had a conversation. It was in the video. Oh, you were up in that, you were up in that little, I call it idiot creek. First creek down the left. Uh, second. I think yeah, the yeah. second it's one. Down there where that old tree used to be across it. Something like that. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. I, cause yeah. cause we had a conversation. <laughs> I think I asked you if you did any fishing, and you were like, yeah, I go like three or four times a week. Yeah. That was you. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> What's I your name? I asked you about your ACC rods. Yeah, you did. You did. What's your name again? Steven. Steven? Okay, I'm Will, man. Nice to meet you. Man. Well, one of these days I might become a game warden so I can be on the water multiple days out of the week. Yeah. It's just a different kind of fishing. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fishing and hunting. Hey, y'all too. Yes, sir. Thank you. That game warden said, you're the first person that ever just told me to look in the cooler. Like, bro. I got slabs, man. I want you to look in there and be impressed. I want you to look in there and be like, oh, I'm about to have to write him a ticket. Yeah, you um, moving your jig up and down? Oh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Stay right in that area and jig jig a little bit. You in the zone. Kind of. Actually. right up in here maybe yeah where my rise it is up in here <laughs> oh it was a thump it was a thump it was a thump see you really don't need live scope not when you're fishing with me i'm not gonna tell you it. where they at yeah, i got it right here with me <laughs> <laughs> slab right here at the top let's see if we can get them now my EP, I'm recording. Come on, Slab. You see it? Oh, he sees it? Oh, he saw it. Ooh. He saw it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, flip. If I can. Should I do it? Yeah, flip him. Flip him. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's what I want my last seven to be. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want. I want uh, seven of them. Yeah, look, look. I want seven of them. You asked me what earlier to it? Yeah. Would you say at least them? At least them. There he is, y'all. <laughs> there he is. That's a good 13 plus right there, yes, man. Sir. Thick, healthy. Double fill, crappie. Come Going on. in the box. In the box. Hey, that box is full, y'all. I got a lot of fish, a lot of ice, too. You need some more room? You can throw over the bag of that ice over here. Yeah. I gift. should. I, sh I was trying to give it to you earlier. You don't know why I ain't taking it being crazy, bro. I, yeah, you should have. You, I can't even get to it now. Okay. We're gonna have to sort that sort that out later. Sounds goody. Snap. I think I got a slab. We ain't going nowhere. Oh, what is that? Yeah, it's a big old white crappie. What? Uh, he ain't that big. He just felt like it. But it's a good one. He probably still 12. He got a big old tail. That's why he felt so big. I mean, that's a big crappie, bro. I guess the last ones I caught just look so big, it's hard to tell. <laughs> oh, man. do it 25 folks and with that we out
right, folks. Hey, we're done for the day. It is a wrap. Let me let y'all take a look at this box, man. Take a look what we got inside. Look at that, y'all. And I mean, look at this slab. And that's not the only one. I got a couple of them that big, y'all. Look at that. Giant crappie. More slabs. And my boy Torek over there. Torek did his thing today too, man. You know, Torek ain't got the live scope and the electronics like, uh, like I got, but he still made something shake. Still made something shake. But folks, with that being said, appreciate y'all checking out the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share with your fishing buddies, folks. I always appreciate that. Hey, and until the next one, peace.